Hello everyone, now let's talk about cookies. So before going further, let's discuss about HTTP statelessness. So HTTP protocol is a stateless protocol, which means if you open any website again and again, you will be treated as a new user. So we have to give our information again and again when we open any web page of that website because we are treated as a new user. That's why HTTP protocol is called as stateless protocol because we have to give our information every time we open any web page. So in order to get rid of it, we use two things, cookies and sessions. So with the help of cookies and sessions, we not have to give our information again and again when we open a particular website. Now let's discuss about cookies. So cookies are a small files which contains information. So cookies contain information in a text file or it's a text. It's hardly of 4 KB in size. So cookie is not an executable file and it's stored on a client site by a browser into our system. And sometimes the cookies are also stored for storing the user preference. So cookies also contain some login information, authentication information and even session IDs. So now let's discuss about that what kind of fields are present inside the cookie and how cookie stores our data. So cookie stores our data in the form of name and value pair like there will be a name and then there will be its value. So now let's discuss about cookies important fields. So here you can see that there are five important fields in cookies. So the first field is domain. So domain field tells us that of which domain this cookie is. Then the path field will tell us that of which particular path this cookie is set it up. Then secure. So if the cookie is being sent through a secure medium by using HTTPS protocol, then this field will be present inside our cookie. And then there is an expires. So expires field will tell us that when this cookie will expire. And in the last, the, there is one field called as HTTP only. So if the HTTP only field is present inside the cookie, which means that cookie cannot be stolen by using JavaScript. So this was all about cookies. Now let's do one cookies example by using Python Flask. Now let's see cookie insertion demo using Flask. So I have written very simple script in Python which will set a cookie in our browser and then we will see that how that cookie looks like. So here is my GitHub link and here is that script which you can just download it from here from this link and if I just open this up so you can see the code here set cookie pie so I'm using flask in this example so what's the flask is so flask is a web application framework written in Python so in the above two lines you can see that I'm importing flask libraries and here is the function which is responsible for setting up the cookie and this is the cookie key value pair so the key, the name of the key is course and its value is web pen testing. So let me open my Kali Linux instance. So here is my Kali Linux instance and here's my Firefox browser. And let me download this file. Let me save this page on my desktop setcookie.py okay so the file has been saved on our des desktop here you can see now let me open the Kali terminal so in order to run this file make sure that python 2.7 and the flask is installed in your system so python 2.7 is already installed in the Kali Linux here you can see and in order to install flask you can install flask by writing pip install flask and it's already installed in my system so here you can see requirement already satisfied now let's go to our desktop and here you can see that here is that file set cookie.py and in order to run it we have to change its So in order to run it, we have to make it as an executable. So in order to make it executable, just write down chmod 
then plus x followed by the file name set cookie dot py and if I do ls again here you can see that now it's an executable file so in order to run it just write down python and this file name and hit enter okay and here we can see that this file is up and running on our local host server this IP and the port is 5000 now let's go back to our browser and now let's go to this IP localhost IP and the port is 5000 so before going there let me show you that in which place our browser stores cookie so let's go to settings preferences and then privacy and here you will see the option remove individual cookie so if you just click over here here you can see the cookies of the different websites like github.com and if I expand this you can see the cookie domain domain is github.com and its path it's, it's a root folder and the name of cookie and the expiration date so this is expiration date now let's do one thing let's remove all the cookies and now let's open that localhost IP and the port is 5000 and if I hit enter here you can see in the response cookie inserted now let's verify click over here remove individual cookies and here you can see our cookie and site is our local host and if I expand it so this is the cookie so the name of the cookie is course as we discussed and its value is web pen testing so you can see the host here and path also so in this video we have discussed that how websites usually set the cookie in the user browser so thanks for watching this video